Well, this is a question that's plagued historians ever since the end of the Second World War. Who was it that betrayed the family of Anne Frank to the Nazis? Anne died in a concentration camp in 1945 at the age of 15 after two years in hiding in Amsterdam. Her diary, published after her death, is probably the most famous first-hand account of Jewish life during the war. Using new investigative techniques, detectives have revealed the identity of the man who's thought to have betrayed the Frank family. Anna Holligan reports now from Amsterdam. The final entry in Anne Frank's diary, Tuesday the 1st of August, 1944. I keep trying to find a way to become what I'd like to be and what I could be if, if only there were no other people in the world. Yours, Anne M. Frank. Three days later, the Jewish teenager was arrested. This was the Frank family's hiding place during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands. And this question of who betrayed the Frank family, who'd lived in this building undetected for more than two years until just months before the end of the war, has remained one of the great mysteries of Dutch history. And now this team of investigators have identified a man who they believe is the key suspect, a Jewish lawyer who'd been based here in Amsterdam helping Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi Germany. No DNA clues or video images existed, so the detectives relied on circumstantial evidence and a note. The final suspect became the person who sent an, who, would, who was named in an anonymous note sent to Otto Frank shortly after he got back from uh, the camp Auschwitz, uh, in which a man called Vandenberg was identified as the betrayer. Otto Frank was Anne's father and the only member of the family to survive the war. The suggestion that the betrayer appears to be someone from within the Jewish community is hard for many to bear. The historic context is critical here. As it turns out, um, it's a story of a man who was cornered and in order to save himself, his wife, his children from the gas chambers, while there is still a degree of scepticism that we may never know the true identity of the betrayer, this tale serves as a warning, a lesson of what humanity may be capable of in its darkest time. Yet another way Anne Frank's legacy remains alive. Anna Holligan, BBC News, Amsterdam.